Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to learn addition of integers. What are integers? Natural numbers, whole numbers and negative numbers together called integers. So let us start. Now let us see the rule. The first rule says if the integers have the same sign add them together and keep the sign. Now let us see the example. Let us see the first example. Plus 2 and plus 2. Here we are going to add plus 2 plus plus 2. Both the numbers have the same sign. It means that we are going to add and we are going to keep the sign as it is. So, what is 2 plus 2? You know it. It is 4. The same here it is. Plus 2 plus 2 is nothing but 4. So, write 4 and then write the same sign there. Our answer will be plus 4. Look at the second example. Minus 2 and minus 2, we are going to add it together. Minus 2 plus minus 2. Don't look at the minus there. Since we have already seen, if we have both the signs same, just add it. So, what is 2 plus 2? It is 4. The answer here is minus 4. As both the numbers have the same sign minus, we are writing minus 4. Let me revise this again. Since in the both the sums, the signs are same, we are adding the numbers and just placing its sign along with it. 2 plus 2 is 4. So, First one we had plus and wrote plus 4. Under the second question it is minus 2 and minus 2. We are writing it as minus 4. Our next rule says that if the integers have different signs, subtract them. The answer takes the sign of the larger number. Let us see the example how to do it. Here I have taken few questions with different signs. Just now we saw the rule. If we have different signs, what we have to do? We have to subtract it. So plus 3 and minus 1 will give you what is 3 minus 1? It is 2. So writing 2, we have to place the sign of the larger number. Here the larger number is 3. So the sign will become plus. Our answer is plus 2. Coming to the next question. Minus 4 and plus 5. We are going to subtract. What is 5 minus 4? It is 1. So we can write it as 1 and what is the sign? The sign is also plus because 5 is the larger number and 5 has plus. So it is plus 1. Coming to the next question. Minus 7 plus plus 3. Each have different signs so we are going to subtract. What is 7 minus 3? It is 4. Writing 4 as it is, we have to place the sign of the larger number that is minus. So, the answer will become minus 4. Once again, I am repeating this. When you are getting same signs, just add it and place the sign of the digits. And then when you are getting different signs, subtract it. Don't think of the plus sign in between. 
just do the subtraction and write the sign of the larger number. I hope this is understood now. You can have a look at this also. Plus sign in both circles represents both the digits have plus sign and the answer will also contain plus. Minus minus represents minus sign. Now coming to the third one, bigger digit with plus sign and smaller digit with minus sign. So the answer will contain plus. Next, smaller digit with plus and bigger digit with minus. So, the answer will have minus sign that is represented using bigger circle and smaller circle. I hope this is understood. Now, look at the clue. When adding integers, use SADS. What it is? S stands for same sign and A for, stands for addition that is adding. And D stands for different sign. There you have to subtract. Same sign, add and different sign, subtract. We will meet in the next video with subtraction of integers. Thank you for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel.